for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. There's a lot of hand tools that you'll eventually need when you get started in traditional woodworking, but it, uh, I am attempting to share a list of just the basic minimum t set of tools that you need to get started building the basic projects in traditional woodworking. So uh, among those in this video is a miter box and a miter box saw. So what, is, what does this do? Well, a miter box is really useful for cutting wood, uh, cross-cutting wood across the grain. So for example, if you want to cut a really accurate end on this board, uh, you would use a miter box saw and set it to the 90 degrees, but then it's also really useful when you loosen it up and you can set it to another, another angle such as a 45 degree angle and you can cut a miter or something like that. So for example, you're making picture frames and it's a really, really excellent tool. Can be found really cheap used. They were made, they were made by the millions and a lot of people had them. I've, I've gotten them for as little as $15 and you just require a little tune up, uh, sharpening the saws and look for missing parts. Um, so it, it, they, they could very well be easy to find in your area uh, so if you are interested in learning more details about what to look for and what brands to look for and features, uh, check out my buying guide. You'll find a link or a button below this video on uh, the buying guide on hand saws. So if you found this video useful, uh, you can subscribe to that little blue button up there to Wooden Shop and visit Wooden Shop and uh, watch my free tutorials on getting started in traditional woodworking.